Um, okay, so it looks like to get my armor, it looks like I need to jump in this cave. What a cool cave. I haven't been in here yet. Is it in Breath of the Wild? Isn't there some lore associated with this, um, this tree stump? Isn't this supposed to- Ooh, there's a Korok literally right here. Isn't this supposed to be like the remains of the Great Deku Tree? That might just be like fan theories. I thought there was lore with this. Hi, Zero. You've been here? I haven't been here yet in my playthrough. I do really like how these interesting spots in Breath of the Wild have been turned into caves. It's really cool. Oh, is it? I don't know. It might be. I feel like I've heard some lore with this tree. Like if I Google it, Hyrule Great Stump lore. <laughs> lore. I thought there was some lore with this tree. Yeah, I'm reading a Reddit thread. I thought it was supposed to be Ocarina of Time Deku, someone said. Some people speculate Makar Island is an obscure reference to um, that first dungeon from the original Le Legend of Zelda. If you look at a picture of the original Legend of Zelda, then there's a lone tree. What does that have to do with this stump, though? But someone here said Deco Tree, Ocarina of Time. I think that's the theory. That might just be fan theories, though. I don't know if there's anything to back that up. Oh, and now this Reddit thread is saying Wind Waker, Deco Tree. Hmm. People are throwing out a bunch of different Deku trees. I think it might just be the fan theories. I have no idea. The theory about the Zonai? What's the Zonai theory? I look so rough. Oh. So tired. Who they descended from? Oh, I did not! But the Zonai lore really fascinates me in the mystery surrounding it. Of the Minish? I've never played Minish Cap, so that- I, I feel like I, I can't comment or I, I'd have nothing to really compare it to. Aren't the Minish like really tiny, like forest people though? I would assume more so a link with like the Twilly and the Zonai. I, I think before Tears of the Kingdom came out, one Zonai theory that really fascinated me, especially considering a lot of like the Zonai um, technology looks very similar to the Twilight technology, uh, like right down to the patterns and like the, the green glowing lights and stuff. And the fact that in Twilight Princess, we know that the Twilight Realm, it's kind of like floating islands. Or the, the Palace of Twilight anyway. I don't know. I always thought maybe there would end up being a link to the, the Twilly and the Zonai. And that maybe the Zonai were uh, like the banished Sheikah that ended up being the Twilly or whatever the Twilly lore is. I don't know. I remember there's some interesting YouTube videos about it. I, I feel like Nintendo doesn't even give it as much thought as uh, fans do, so, but it's fun to speculate. Oh god, excuse me. But I saw some really interesting fan theories leading up to Twilight Princess about the connections between the Twilight race and the Zonai. Thank you. <laughs> Stream issues. Mm, okay. That's so nice. You guys are so nice. I'm having so many stream issues today. It was to be expected. I've been having stream issues leading up to this 24-hour stream, so it was inevitable. <laughs> it's fine because we have the countdown on stream, but it would have been so satisfying at the end of stream to see the uptime being 24 hours. 
A massive tree so people speculate. That's what I'm thinking, because when I look it up on Reddit, people are like, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda, <laughs> original. So I think it's just fans, theories. Ash always talks about the stump. I wonder if she has maybe like more knowledge on a theory that I don't know about. Because the ancient tree stump seems to fascinate a lot of people. I appreciate that Avalon and Puppy. I'll have to look into that. I think looking into Ethernet stuff would be a, a pain, but it's probably... It would probably be really worth it long term. You are also allowed? Yeah, yeah, you can post a link. Is it long? I don't know if I'll necessarily watch it, but I could I could open it for later. I didn't consider her setup. Yeah, my setup, it would be awkward to get an Ethernet cable running through my apartment. I don't think there'd really be a way to do it. Even my router, it would have to... I don't even know if I could have it go across my ceiling. It would have to go across my entire living room and my entire hallway, and it would be a whole thing. Nine minutes streaming is a long time. You guys, I'm so exhausted. I've been streaming for a whole nine minutes. <laughs> Having to wrap it up. <laughs> Shrinks or unshrinks things? Interesting. I guess that, that I could see that. Doing so good right now. <laughs> so proud. Thank you guys. Oh, you are so nice, puppy. Oh my god. Take my jokes? Oh my- I, I take no offense. I take no offense. I'm not. You guys are good. You guys are good. Yeah, I really like the countdown. Honestly, though, that's an another reason I wanted the countdown, because I was, like, mentally preparing for stream to crash minimum once. So it's kind of nice to have the consistent countdown going. You meant for later? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna... Oh, you know what? I might have seen this video. Bandit Games. Yeah, I feel like he's a big Zelda theorist. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch that back later. I'm curious. Thanks for posting it. That's true. Well, there are definitely direct references in this game. I know most things are meant to be Easter eggs, but when you have... Where is it? The Ranch Ruins, for example. I can't find it right now. Ranch Ruins? There are side-by-side -side videos, and it's literally taken, like, directly out of Ocarina of Time. And where it is in Central Hyrule is... is pretty equivalent to where it would be in Ocarina of Time. The scope of this map is insane. Like, if you think of Ocarina of Time, this Hyrule field actually kind of, like, matches pretty similarly. But then everything else doesn't match, because Korok Forest would have been down here. Or Kokiri Forest, I guess, you, if you want to call it that. And Lost Woods, it would all be southeast. But as far as, like, Central Hyrule goes... I mean, it's, it's pretty... Every... The, the major regions are pretty accurate. Like, Central Hyrule... The ranch ruins would be right there. And then Castle Town. And then generally to the north east, you have that. Kakariko, basically directly east. It's pretty similar. It's pretty similar. And Gerudo always to the south, the southwest in all the games. Oh, she always referenced? Oh, I appreciate you posting it. I appreciate you posting it. Let us play as Ganondorf um, for a Zelda game. I think it would be cool to play as Link or... Sorry, <laughs> as Link. As Zelda or Ganondorf. I know a lot of people are hoping maybe we would play as Zelda in this game. And I do think there would have been cool opportunities for it. When we first saw the teaser about Zelda dropping into a hole... I was really thinking, hey, maybe this is going to be like a Pikmin 2 situation and we're going to go back and forth between playing as Link and Zelda while Link solves stuff on the surface and Zelda solves things on the underground. 
Um, and then when we realized, when it became kind of clear that like time travel was going to be an element, I was like, how cool would that have been? Even if they did this in a DLC, uh, it would have been so cool to play in the ancient Hyrule from Zona Zonai times, like see what Zelda sees. I, I think the dragon tier memories are the most fascinating part of this game. Like seeing the little seg the little little crumbs of ancient Hyrule. It's very fascinating. Being able to play in that world would be really cool. But I, that might be hard for the Switch, I'd imagine. You went eleven hours once. That's that's impressive though still. Like that's that's a long time to stream. Thank you for that follow. Thank you. My record before this was, I think, 13 and a half, 14 hours. Made it massive. Yeah, it's cool. I feel like with each new Zelda game, they kind of just like make it on a bigger scale. Yeah, I feel like Twilight Princess was so cool because it was like very similar to the Ocarina of Time map, but also just slightly enlarged. And then now Breath of the Wild kind of like really amplifies that. And Benny Spaghetti, thank you for the follow. Thanks for the follows, the stream, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, Pa. No worries. Sounds good, Snow. No worries. Do what you gotta do, guys. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, I don't know how Nintendo managed to condense this game so much. Like, when you have some shooter games that are, are, like, aren't they, like, 100 gigabytes or more? Nintendo really took a lot of content in this game and condensed it as much as possible. Gen Gengi Twins? Genji Twins? Hello. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, as far as, like, gigabytes, this game isn't too big compared to how big it could have been. Yeah, Nintendo knows how to optimize. I agree. Me too. Me too. I really enjoyed... Um, I really enjoyed doing the Dragon Tears in order. But the thing is, I actually... I did the Dragon Tears in order, and I didn't know that the Master, C, the master Sword cut, uh, side quest was going to lead you to a, a memory. And I got that early in game, and I feel like it kind of took me out of the immersion a lot getting that early. It made it less impactful. I'm that's one thing I'm I, I really like Tears of the Kingdom. I I think it's like a nearly flaw, flawless game, but I'm mad that Nintendo didn't lock certain memories behind certain main story objectives. I really think this game suffered because they they didn't make it more linear where they could have. I think getting like mem the memories and especially getting the master sword early can like fully take you out of the immersion. Gingy twins, okay, Gingy twins. Thank you so much for letting me know. Original channel, hello. How's it going? Ada, I don't know what you're trying to say. You cry k dollar sign at sign. Are you drunk, Ada? Are you just nearing the end of your? Oh wait, you're going home now. You're done your overnight. Lost wood scene until after I got the master sword. Oh, I see. You fell asleep? <laughs> oh, so you were just typing in your sleep? That's funny. I was like, what are you trying to say? I cry K dash at dollar sign period comma. That's funny. I've actually done that in people's Discord servers. And I'm always scared I'm going to do that in chats if I fall asleep while I'm holding my phone. I feel like sometimes you end up accidentally typing, and I've actually I've accidentally put spam in someone's Discord once because I fell asleep. <laughs> Ada, don't keep yourself up. If you gotta go to bed, go to bed. Mela, hi. Repetitive scenes at the end of each zone. Yeah, I do hate how a big part of the dungeon cutscenes were like the Demon King secret stone. I get why they had to do it because you could do the temples in any order but i wish they could have switched it up ever so slightly i remember when i did the the first temple the wind temple i was so fascinated with the lore that we got and seeing that zelda was a part of the imprisoning war it was so interesting 
and then when i went to my second temple i was like so excited to get more lore and then it was kind of disappointing because i was like oh that was the exact same thing i already saw okay so from here i'm gonna get the fierce daddy boots oh, i don't want the like like to bother me but i would like the keys eyeballs That oh that's true that might be the the good strat. See that's happened to me. You fall asleep, holding your phone above you, and then you'll never truly fall asleep because it falls on you when you fall asleep, <laughs> and the cycle repeats. Whereas if you are kind of like falling asleep with your phone on your side, then that's when you you pass out while you're like typing things. Thanks, Ada. I appreciate you hanging out. I hope you have a good sleep. Rest up after your overnight. 12 hour nursing shift is not easy. It like puts my 24 hour stream to shame. You're actually like dealing with the public and and doing good things and helping people. I'm just playing games. <laughs> A nurse? Yeah. My so Paprika poops in chat is my older sister. And she's a nurse in a psych hospital. Psych ward. Um, nurse, I guess you could say. I don't really know nurse terminology stuff. And she has like crazy shifts. Like she just, she just did a seven to seven. And I'm like, you know what? That makes me feel like I can't be too dramatic about my overnight shift. Sorry, not overnight shift. 24 hour stream. Also overnight shifts though. Because I work a lot of 12.30 to 8.30 a.m. shifts. And I'm like, that's nothing on a 12 hour overnight brain nerves <laughs> that would be stressful yeah that is a lot Mela. i really hope you're doing well though it's good to see you i hope um life is going well and i i hope you've been really good where do you live i reside in ontario canada come and clutch so many times hey i'm excited i'm gonna get my arm my fierce daddy armor and i find um, I'd say the Fierce Daddy set is the one I wear the most consistently in the game. I really like how it looks, and I like the attack boost. But I've always been missing the boots, so I haven't had the full set yet. Hmm, let me look at the map. This is where it's supposed to be. It's meant to be right in this area. Hmm. There's something I'm not seeing. Your cousins live there? Very nice. Yeah, fun fact. I was born in the same hospital as Justin Bieber and Ryan Gosling. And I think Rachel McAdams. That one I'm not 100% on. But I was born in the same hospital as... I don't actually... My sister might know. I feel like it's common. It's like kind of like a commonly known thing in my city. But I was, yeah, I was born in the same hospital as Justin Bieber for sure. You're basically siblings, right? What can I say? I'm a big JB fan. I've been a believer since day one. I love the Biebs. Wow, yeah. Fun fact. J Biebs, I love Justin. He's great. I'm a j big JB fan. I'm not wrong though, right, Ada? Ryan Gosling was also born in... in... that hospital. I don't know for sure about Rachel McAdams, but I think so? I think Justin and Ryan Gosling. And we went to- we went to high school with the Gosling cousins. Actually. St. Thomas for Gosling? They were born in London, though. They were born at St. Joe's, I'm pretty sure. Because St. Thomas, I don't think really... At the at the time, anyway. Well, same with Justin. He grew up in Stratford, but... Um, a lot of those smaller towns, like Stratford and St. Thomas, don't have... 
really like maternity areas and hospitals so they come to like london for people giving birth at least back in the 90s anyway in 80s your steady boots bieber's newer stuff ah, i just love him like even during his era where he was you know he was getting hated on a lot and kind of being a bit problematic i've always loved justin i think he he's a good He's a, he's a good soul. I think he's a, he's an artist who I really look up to. He's a good dude, I think. Delivery unit, yeah. So I think they were all born, I know Justin was for sure born in my hospital. How do you get so many viewers? This stream is very misleading because this was like a big, um, hyped up, like planned out stream event in advance. Um... So I, this is a stream and as far as like engagement is definitely more successful than my average stream. I mean, just do you, be yourself, play games you like, have fun. Have fun with your, your streams, you know. My viewership has dipped from my early like COVID stream days. So I found like, I, I haven't kept my view count on in years. I found like Sometimes it's easy to get too fixated on numbers and it can t kind of take the fun out of it. So now I just like play the games I like. Just enjoy chatting with people in chat and connecting with the community and then you and then keep my view count off and then it makes it more enjoyable. I I don't really stress too much about views or numbers these days. So that's what that's that's what I would recommend. Like I would just keep it off honestly. Um and then just try to kind of like have fun with the people in chat and then, you know. I've had a love-hate relationship and with like analytics and views over the years. You guys who've been around have heard me go on this like um, tangent so many times because I used to be in like a really bad place with like putting myself down over analytics. Because as many people did after COVID, I, um, I had like a pretty big dip in viewership and I... I've, it's hard to not take it personally, you know, but more often than not, things like that is like external factors. Um, so I like, I found for my mental health, I like basically kind of changed my whole approach to streaming and I scrapped my schedule and I shifted my mindset to kind of just like view it more as a fun hobby and not like necessarily try to have the aim of like growing. And I'm in a much better place with it now. Like, I find it's a lot more fun when you don't really focus on viewers too much. And then funny enough, when you focus less on it, I find is when things usually start to be a bit more successful. Oh, you're good, Jinji. Yeah, and I think most streamers you talk to who've been streaming for any amount of time usually end up um, turning their view count off pretty quickly. Most people start with it on, and I do think having a general understanding of, like, your analytics in a broad sense is always good so you know like what areas you can kind of improve on but i think having a view count on consistently during a stream it's just it's so hard to like you'll always be disappointed or like i, I don't know it'll always be higher than you expect or lower than you expect views very rarely sit at like a happy medium so i find it's just much better for the brain to keep it off and then you just don't even think about it Yeah, I'm like, it, it makes me anxious to check it, honestly. Because then you, you fixate on it. But yeah, I, the stream is definitely, people have been so supportive for my 24-hour stream. Even with all the tech issues, um, which I'm really appreciative of. Like, we've gotten so many, like, raids and follows today. So definitely big stream events like this aren't a good reflection of like my my channel average. Like today is definitely a lot more successful than my channel normally is, but this was like hyped up for quite a while in advance. I love how it's like getting so late in the stream that it's ba I've hardly done any Zelda. <laughs> it's basically just chatting. I'm going to have to run to the washroom soon and fill up my water. But yeah, Jinji, if you're still here, just have fun with it. Play games you like. Try not to focus on numbers too much. Appreciate the people who show up, you know. 
I'm like not like a massive streamer, but that's my two cents from my 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 experience on Twitch. Yeah. I think so, Avalon, and that's got to be stressful for celebrities. Like I look at Justin and I'm like if what Hollywood did to him from a young age was really sad, so I'm happy that he's kind of laying low enjoying his marriage and living a more quiet life right now. Yeah, I always, I always look at Justin Bieber and I'm like, I don't know. He seems like a very genuine, humble guy to me. Um, who's kind of stuck to his roots. And that's the thing, celebrities are just people. And I'm like, ah, That's gotta be rough on them. How everyone kind of just glamorizes them. Yeah, and that's another thing, what Puppy said. It's so difficult to get the viewers on Twitch. Now more than ever, like the gaming space online is so, so incredibly saturated. There's like next to no discoverability. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like if you if you want to kind of grow, you've got to kind of take your content and recycle it on other platforms. I've I found a pretty good rhythm with like making and posting shorts and short form content, and I do think it's helped bring some traffic to my channel in the past year. Are you family friendly? Um, I wouldn't say so. I would say I'm recommended 18 plus, like... Oh, sorry, I have hiccups. I don't think we're really too vulgar or rowdy here. I think it's usually pretty wholesome. Um, but I won't shy away from mature discussions. We're swearing sometimes. Spectacular, hi. And yeah, I, I, if chat swears and stuff, I won't censor it necessarily either. Uh, in my early stream days, I'd say I was more so family friendly, but now I, I don't really censor myself. But the general vibe in here is pretty lighthearted, usually. One sec, I'm just trying to catch up on chat a bit. Yeah, that's like me. I am I would consider myself to be more of a viewer than like... I don't know. Yeah, I think what Paprika said. I don't know. Just you kind of think about the streamers you like and and how they interact with their chats and make it like a chill community. Less is more, yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'd always rather have a smaller, tight-knit community than like a big one where I didn't feel as connected to to people, you know? Consistency, and that's, I think, one of the... the I, I think that's the biggest reason I had a dip in my analytics because after COVID, you know, life goes on and you go back to work and me, like so many others, couldn't prioritize scream streaming anymore. Whereas I used to have a schedule, now I'm lucky if I can go live like once a week. Um, so consistency is a big thing, but it's hard to be consistent on Twitch, so I don't know. It's tricky. Yeah, right, Mela? Yeah, it's always, it's either too low and then you get in your head about it, or it's higher than your average and then you feel like you have to act a certain way. And it, it's, I think it's best to just not even focus on it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, because it's hard to not attach it to self-worth when you're, like, the face of your streams. Um, so it can end up being pretty bad for the mental health, I find, when you focus on analytics a lot. Yeah, and that's a thing. I think it's good to just go into it with that kind of mindset, like, oh, this is a fun hobby that even if I knew I was never going to grow, like, I, I just really have fun playing these games that I love and sharing that experience with other people. I think that's the best mindset to have with Twitch. That's such a good point, puppy. And yeah, and you meet so many like friends and like-minded people. 
And that's what Twitch is and streaming is about at the end of the day. Like, just meeting like-minded people, you know, and making connections. Yeah, like, usually I, I, I'm fascinated with analytics. I tend to keep up with my, like, general stats after the fact. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Like, I'll look at, like, month-end summaries and I'll check my, like, Twitch tracker to see how things kind of fluctuate in a general scope, but... I don't know. In my early days, I used to like really study my like stream by stream analytics and it kind of like messed with my brain a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's good to notice like patterns and trends, I think. I'm so comfy, Bruni. That's me right now. Yeah, I'm like full potato mode right now. Like have hardly slept in the past 30 hours. Just comfy, chilling. Can't get past Sky Island? Oh, that's okay. You'll get there. Yeah. That's so true, puppy. Finding, yeah. Finding similar streams to you. Because that's how you usually build your community. You kind of network with similar streamers. And then you usually all like the same kinds of games and the vibes are similar. I think so too, Avalon. Well said. Leave Brittany alone. Aw, that means, that means a lot, puppy. Especially coming from you because you're like, you know, such a fantastic editor and you edit for Ash and like, you've had such successful edits pop off. So that means a lot coming from you. I think I've been better at getting better at finding my rhythm with editing. I really enjoy making shorts and stuff. I have fun with it. Even though some of them may not like get the most views, I, I really enjoy making them. But yeah, good morning, Spectacular. I hope you're having a good day. A nice restful Sunday. Sleepy Sunday for you too, Mela. Nice. Those are the best. Oh, I love that snow. I love that so much. A viewer who also sometimes dreams when no one else is. <laughs> It's fun to be a, a hobby streamer. I think that's the way to go. Tribal creatures, after all, that is true. That is true. Are you family friendly? Um, yeah, what Snow said. What she said. Yeah, like, I, I try not to hold myself to, like, the expectation of being family friendly or anything like that. Um, like, generally the vibe in here is pretty wholesome, but um, I'm recommended 18+, plus because I also, like, you know, won't censor myself. And we do talk about mature things sometimes. Aw, thank you, Jinji. I appreciate that. Do you have kick? I do not. I will never stream on kick. Personal preference. Yeah, not matching vibes with streamers, yeah. Kick is for peeps kicked from Twitch. Or people who, I mean, want more, better revenue split. Like, so many people willingly go to kick. Um, but I don't know. Like, sure, you make more money streaming on kick, but at what cost? Like, I, I don't think the platform... I don't think the values and the sense of community on, on kick is on par with Twitch. I know Twitch has its issues, but as far as, like, you know, how things are monitored and regulated, I think Twitch um, is a lot better. Even though the revenue split isn't as good, I, I would never leave Twitch for kick. Yeah, there's, they've had a lot of, a lot of controversial shit. I don't know. I think if you go to, like, if anyone streams, I, I would never want to hate on anyone for getting their coin. But if anyone goes to kick, I feel like it's often there's more of a motivation for like money than sense of community. That's the way I see it. They write for themselves. Yeah, that's a thing. Like streaming, any creative outlet should be looked at that as like a, something to express yourself creatively or where you gain something out of it or it's fulfilling to you. Or else I think that if, if not, that's like the quickest way to burn yourself out, I think, when you do something for the wrong reasons. Yeah, like you enjoy the creative process. 
A bit choppy on your end? Oh no. A bit choppy on your end, you're right. It's kinda it was kinda going out a bit. What mature stuff? Mm, Gingy, I don't mm, I'd like nothing in particular. Nothing in particular. Like I mean just in a general sense. Like sometimes we'll we'll swear, sometimes we'll just talk about like general life things that I wouldn't say is necessarily family friendly. Like about jobs and bills that I don't think like a 13 year old could necessarily relate to, you know? Okay, hopefully it's hopefully it's not too choppy. Thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna keep an eye on my stream manager. Okay, that was good. I think I did everything I had to do in that cave. It cut off, you're kidding. No. So it sounds like we may have cut for some people, but m m may just be kind of buffery for others. I don't think we fully crashed. Okay, it looks like it's smooth again, and my stream session is still about 42 minutes. So I don't think it's been a full crash. Mimi, good morning. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of Zelda gameplay, everyone. <laughs> Your PC wants a snooze, yeah. Whatever it is, my my internet, Twitch servers, computer, the universe, none of it is working in my favor for this stream. I'm determined to push through. I will be live until like 2.30, no matter how many times I have to reset. <laughs> but this VOD is going to be a nightmare. Oh, I don't even want to think about piecing this together. Yeah, like, I wanna, yeah, if anyone ever follows me with the expectation of it being family-friendly, I, I always try to put in the rules that, you know, I, it's recommended 18+, plus because I don't want to feel like I have to censor myself, like I did in my early days, um, so, like, for the most part, it's pretty chill in here, but, like, we all will also, you know, it will have a more mature vibe in some streams, um, but yeah, just feel at your own discretion, you know? If, if someone ever feels like they're not really vibing with it here, you know, you're always welcome to feel out the vibes and unfollow if it's not for you. Mm, that's all I can really say about that. So I always just say recommended 18 plus just to play it safe. You haven't noticed a frame drop? Okay, so it looks like it's okay on some people's ends, but maybe a bit choppy for others. You'll shout when it fully goes out. I love that puppy. Just yell at me when it goes out. <laughs> But I agree, Avalon. My PC is not having a good time. But Mimi, I hope you had a good sleep. I hope you slept well. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just follow the counter by the EV. I'm not lying. I've been, li I've been live more or less for that long. People who have been here since 10 a.m. yesterday and can attest. <laughs> it's stable again. Yay. My sanity is not and my mental health is not. <laughs> I'm glad this stream's doing well, though. We're back to regular delay. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it seems to be pretty synced up on my end. My mental health never was. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to my armor. Um, Fierce Daddy Boots. Huge. Ancient Tree Stump Cave. Ancient Tree Stump Bubble Frog. Okay. I forgot why I came to this. It's because it was for a quest, actually. Ancient tree stump cave. Armor. Fierce deity armor. I have the full fierce deity set. That's so exciting. I think it's my favorite set out of the ones I have so far. Okay. 
Um, and I did the Korok here. Didn't I? Oh, I did not. Something happened. I thought I was going to do a Korok, and then I probably got distracted and jumped down the hole. That's okay. I'm going to get that Korok quickly, just because I know he was there. <clears throat> you wanted a matching set? I think, yeah, a matching set for a side quest that requires the whole set. I'm pretty sure. Talking about the stump, that's true. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Um, we're gonna get this Korok here in a moment. Yeah. Like, just do it because you love it and not with the expectation to grow, you know? And just play the games you want. Don't lock yourself into anything. And just make friends along the way. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, guys. I gotta pee. I'm gonna fill up my water as well. Oh no, pa. Okay, I'm gonna go and be right back. For a moment, you guys will see some clips rotate. Um, I shouldn't be longer than a couple minutes, though. Yeah, you got this, pa. Heck yeah. I've always been here. I appreciate that puppy. Anyone who's kept the stream going, even like, with all the the crashes and the four hour gap and stuff it means a lot even if people have just kind of like kept us on in the back gotta <laughs> thanks for being here everyone i really appreciate it thanks for spending your morning or afternoon with me the craft show nice mimi no worries avalon thank you for hanging oh fatigue oh debilitating oh i hope you you take it easy and and rest up Thank you, Avalon. Thanks for the good chats. Have a good rest of your day. What is health? That is true. If anyone has a good, like, life, brain, mental health, stream balance, work-life balance, I would like to have a chat with them and ask them how. Steph! Hi! Thank you so oh, much yeah, for yeah. the sub. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, TTS is so silly. Thank you so much, Steph. How are you doing? I appreciate that sub. You were so sweet. I hope you're doing well. Let me update this. Gosh, 109 subs. This wasn't even a subathon. And I got spoiled today. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you so much, Steph. Oh, I feel bad leaving right after the sub, but I really have to pee. I gotta pee so bad. But I hope you're doing so well, Steph. It's so good to see you. I will be back in just a minute or so. I'll be back. Oh god, oh god, is she gonna save me? <gasps> oh, Zelda, you missed! You missed! Zelda, oh! Come back! She's trying her best! Okay, I was. <laughs> I could not stick the landing, they had to give me a cutscene. I want to catch that little guy. Wow, Stardew Lore. Thanks. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mario Mario, fresh and best I've seen. Mario. Hey, brother, it's me, Mario. What, I can ride her? Ayo? Link can ride on Mineru's construct. That's her name for something. I wish it were me. Damn. Well God God bless the Zonai with such slutty such a slutty waist. They've been blessed. You know. God gives the slutty waist to his best creations. Have you seen the Zonai waist? Don't get- no! <laughs> Sorry, this stream just got wild. I'm sorry. Everyone who's lurk lurking is clicking off. Whoa! Crazy shit. Zelda is the moon. I 
I did! I've added a mask counter, and I made it match my branding. I'm very pleased with it. I'm blind. Yeah, do you guys like the mask counter? Sorry, I can't take you with me. You're doing great, Tori. Kill the scent via jointhrone.com. That chair is like a, a couple hundred dollars. Oh, what the heck? Why am I tearing up a bit, actually? That's like a lot of money. I'm like kind of tearing up. I'm like kind of shocked right now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like kind of shocked right now. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Wait, I'm just trying to process. We're... I assume I probably use Yunobo because I just got his abilities. Hey, man. Oh! Sell that one. Pro controller for pro gamer less than three inches tilde sent via thronegifts.com. <laughs> I can't. Hi, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. Oh, were the clips being not playing properly? Were they being weird? Yeah, it's from like a, a browser source and it links to your Twitch and then it, it rotates them. I don't fully get how it works. Interesting. I find sometimes it can be a bit buggy. Hi. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Whew, okay. Thank you for being here, everyone. Yeah, it's from like a browser source and it, it integrates with your Twitch or something like that. Whee! Yeah, ha ha! Yeah, ha ha! <laughs> Gosh, I wish we were we did better with the Koroks for this twenty four hour stream. Uh, I don't want to beat myself up because this this game is so massive, but I have not done as much as I thought I would do in twenty four hours. You know. Ask myself that every day. <laughs> Snow, you kill me. I mean, Tori. I mean, nothing necessarily happens with my mental health, you know? It's just adult life is hard, and sometimes... Sometimes you just... Oh, see, this describes it perfectly. What Link just went through. Like, sometimes you're just going along your merry way, and life just hits you with its antlers, you know? Some days are good, some days are tough, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of life, you know? We're all human, you know. We have some good days, we have some bad days. Hi, Randy! Good morning! The longer it goes, the slower it's going. Oh, that's actually true! Because early 100% grinding is... You fly through because you're like, Korok left, right, center, cave here, shrine here. But as things get a bit more dispersed, um, it does- it does take a bit longer. That's a good point. It is hard to judge. Um, Jinji, I'm sorry. Looking for a while. Ah, Sadie My Jane! Thank you! I did see that you followed earlier. I really appreciate that. <gasps> and you-